thank you. So um, some of the things that have been talked about today make me think of deterrence. What deters um, someone from taking a drug that's been laced with fentanyl? And what deters someone from producing and distributing fentanyl into this country? And um, Mr. Mr. Maltz, some people have said today, um, that was this was an early talker, cannot incarcerate, our way, in, cannot incarcerate our way out of this. And then they said, but, w but we need to have tough penalties, in, uh, including incarceration for those who deal the drugs. Is that a tacit admission that, that there is a way to deter dealers and that would include sentencing to incarceration? Absolutely. You want to put these people in jail for the longest amount of time that are killing our kids. We're not talking about putting couriers that are just moving product. They don't even know what they're moving. You have to deal with each case separately. But for the organization that is destroying our country, they have to feel the pain. Now, I will tell you this. You asked the question about the frustration. Right now, we have hundreds lined up in Mexico for extradition. The administrator of DEA testified. We can't get them out. We want to hold them responsible for what they're doing. That's going to be a deterrent. We saw that in Colombia for years when we went after the North Valle cartel, the Medellin cartel, and everyone. So we have to have these strong punishments.